먼저 한국의 또 이민교회와 선교지에 있는 많은 한국 청소년 사역자들 위해 한국어로 인터뷰를 할수 있게 해주셔서 감사합니다. 오늘 예일 청소년 사회 연구소에서 하신 강연을 듣고 아, 여러분의 깊은 지혜를 느낄 수 있었는데요. 어, 박사님의 강연에서 청소년들이 교회에서 즐거운 시간을 갖는 것이 정말 중요하고 또 그것이 청소년의 영성이랑 직결된다고 하셨습니다. 이것에 대해 좀더 설명해 줄수 있으신가요? So I'll translate that in English. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for your um, time to interview uh, for Korean uh, ministers in Korea. And uh, missionaries and mission fields and uh, immigrant churches. Uh, I was very honored to learn from your insights and wisdom at your lecture today at Yale Youth Ministry Institute. Um, uh, in your lecture, you mentioned about how important it is for young people to be ha to have fun at church, and that fun has to be linked to uh, spirituality. What do you uh, mean by that? Could you elaborate more on this? Well, I, I make no differentiation between. Uh, fun and spirituality. I'm not suggesting that we should all be laughing all the time at church. I am saying that if there isn't a time for laughter in church, it's not the kind of church that Jesus wants it to be. I think that Shane and I both work very hard in bringing humor into any talk that we give. I heard him today at the Yale Chapel and he had the people laughing several times. That's very, very important. And it's not simply a speaking technique. It's a way of saying the Jesus I believe in has room for this in the worship and in the fellowship of believers. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, this is the Jesus that we worship. Mm -hmm. uh, he is not a stern, a dull person, but uh, affirms both the seriousness of the things that we talk about and the levity that is part of our lives. And uh, we need the balance between those two things. Mm -hmm. So if it's all seriousness and no levity, it's wrong. If it's all levity and no seriousness, it's wrong. We must always communicate the truth. Mm -hmm. And our attempt uh, to make it into fun must never conceal mm -hmm. uh, the profundities that we are trying to communicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's a reason that joy is a fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, that... that uh, uh, it, it should flow out of us because we um, hope differently. You know, we believe life triumphs over death and love over hatred. We can trust in that. And so one of my mentors has said, uh, if we can't laugh, then the devil's already won. Mm. If, 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 if our joy is gone, or uh, uh, the great activist uh, um, Emma Goldman, she said, if I can't dance, it's not my revolution. So. Sometimes when we're dealing with heavy social justice issues, we can become um, overwhelmed by the darkness. We can also, I think, become self-righteous. And there's a lot of folks that are liberal and conservative that have lost their joy. Mm -hmm. So I, I think in, in the end, joy is, is a real mark of the Spirit. And it's something that the Spirit flow, you know, brings out of us mm -hmm. and, and inspires in us. When sure. I look at a sin, uh, there are two ways to deal with it. One is condemning it. Mm -hmm and that has to be done at times. But I find that even better than condemning is talking about sin in such a way that it becomes ridiculous. And people begin to laugh at how stupid it is to commit these acts that are so sinful. So uh, that's a technique of getting people to turn from sin by making it look ridiculous, something to laugh at. Mm -hmm. uh, it says in the scriptures that, the, that uh, God laughs at certain things, and he laughs at the ludicrous nature of what we do. I mean, why would anybody do these things, I'm sure God is asking, uh, because uh, it makes no sense at all. So uh, the use of humor is very, very important to me, and um, I think it needs to be part of good preaching. Mm 